You can see it keeps sending hello world and it says my name with my DP and it keeps sending hello world like for every two seconds. Bruh, Nightbot, Stream Elements, Stream Labs, Pinkcore, or any other YouTube chatbot is actually stealing your credits. You might see their ugly name, let's say Nightbot, someone have sent you a message, Stream Elements, someone subscribe to your channel, Pinkcore, finally they will have uploaded a video, is actually making you look unprofessional. In order to get a fully custom bot, you need to pay extra money. But now you can do all that without spending a penny on setting up a new custom bot. Let me introduce you to Stream Bot. It's Streamer Bot, which is completely free. You don't have to pay a penny, and it can do anything and everything that a chatbot can do. Yeah, and before we get started, this video is not sponsored or affiliated to Stream Bot. It's Streamer Bot again. Bruh. This is just an informative session where I'm like sharing you how you can set up a custom bot. Let's go ahead and get started now. All right, first thing first, we're gonna download this to our system and it's not a rocket science. It's a simple download from the web page that I have left the link in my description. All you gotta do is go ahead and click on the new version streamer.bot and there is another version called speaker.bot but we'll get back to another video. But let's go ahead and start with the streamer.bot and it's gonna download a zip file now we can go ahead and open the folder and extract to a different folder and try to find streamerbot.exe and just go ahead and double click and open it once you open it i know this is going to be too much it's basic ui i think they have used like windows 95 or windows xp and it's it's really user friendly and when you get started it's going to be kind of hard to understand few buttons but it's, it's it's really simple to get started first thing first we're going to connect our youtube or twitch to our streamer bot it's it's pretty easy go ahead and try to find platforms and try to spot youtube right there and now you have to go ahead and click on agree and now you're gonna add accounts and this is where it actually get tricky you actually need two different accounts one is your main admin account and actually if you don't have another account you basically have to create it create another account called um, I have created called Debu consciousness <laughs> it sounds funny but you can actually have your custom name for your bot so the second channel or the second YouTube uh, account that you create that name where you put in that is going to be your actual custom name for your bot so basically you need two different accounts so the first one you can go ahead and click on sign in with Google and that's my main account that's where I stream and I post all my videos go ahead and click on continue and make sure you click on manage your YouTube account so go ahead and click and click continue and that's all good now we can close the window and jump back to your streamer bot now let's connect your bot account like I said before you need a different account with a different name on it and a different with email ID and let's connect that account now it's pretty easy and make sure you click on auto connect once you log in with your credential and let's go with the second account let's go ahead and connect my second account this is my main account that I'm gonna use and go ahead and click on continue and make sure you click on manager YouTube account and click on continue again and there you go let's go ahead and jump back to our streamer bot and make sure you click on auto connect and there you can see your main account that's a Google place and my second account that's a Google version and you can have any kind of custom name that you want on your account now you need to let this bot account be a moderator in your actual admin YouTube channel or in your Twitch but I'm gonna show you how to do it on YouTube now go ahead and open your YouTube admin and go to your YouTube studio and go ahead and try to find settings and right there I think you guys might know how to add a bot to your uh, permissions right so just go ahead and click on community moderation and already had my another one called the consciousness uh, but I'm showing with a different account now you're gonna add your another channel that you created as a bot streamer bot you're gonna copy that URL and paste it in managing moderator right here and I'm gonna paste my another account YouTube URL and there you go you got the name right there go ahead and click that and click on save 
now that you have actually connected your YouTube with our streamer bot and we have two different accounts one is the admin and we have another account called bot but you can change its custom name in whatever names you want you can just go ahead and click on YouTube and click on view channel click on customize and I can change your name right there now we're gonna connect our streamer bot to OBS that's where it get kind of tricky because in later on videos I'm gonna cover on how to you know manipulate any scenes or source or any timers or any chat with voice control or with gestures all of that you can do with your simmer bot and we're gonna make both of them talk to each other now let's jump back to our streamer bot go ahead and try to find stream apps right here and right click and click on add basically we are trying to create a web socket or we're creating kind of like a tunnel where our streamer bot can tag to our OBS and they can communicate without any interference that's what we're trying to do here now once you add your OBS as a name and there are like version host part password this we're gonna actually copy it from our OBS let's go ahead and open our OBS go ahead and click on tools on the top bar in OBS and click on web socket settings once you open tools and click on WebSocket server settings, you can go ahead and click on enable WebSocket server and that's your port number and you're going to click on show contact details and it's going to basically open up a QR with your server IP, server port and server password. <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, this guy showed his password and I'm going to go ahead and hack it. I'll uh, give it a try. Oh, no, man. Now, basically, you're going to copy all this info once you're done with adding all the info go ahead and click on ok and now right click on it and click on connect so if it says it's connected everything is all good and if it's not getting connected maybe you messed up with the password or the port number that you copied from your OBS all right now that we have connected our YouTube admin account with streamer bot and another account that we created just for our custom bot and we also connected our OBS with our streamer bot. Now it's all good to go. Now let's go ahead and do a test. Streamer bot has an amazing feature. You can go ahead and click on chat. That's going to open up a custom chat box right there. I'm going to just see if it's going to work. All the magic happens right in the action bar. I'm just going to add, let's say, a test. And we have two other screens here. I'm going to make an elaborate video, but just for the knowledge purpose, sub action is nothing but what you want it to do and what would be the trigger, what it is going to trigger it. Just like, you know, you we have it in our uh, pink color or you have it in your stream elements. But let's go ahead and create a timed message that needs to be sent to your chat. All you got to do is right click on the sub action, uh, click on YouTube and send message to a channel. And click on bot and let's type hello world and click on okay and this needs to be triggered by a timer so go ahead and click on triggers core and let's do a timed action any create timer and let's say two and let's say that's a uh, text and press on okay and okay so now you have a message that needs to be sent timed after two seconds and it's going to keep sending every two seconds it's just like the feature you have in your stream bot or on your pin card or in your stream labs now i'm going to go ahead and check this on a live stream all right once you're live there is another catch that you need to hold to you need to make sure your another account the custom bot account that you created that needs to be active and they need to be on your live that's when they both can communicate to each other all right now i actually turned on my other account now you could actually see this is crazy right look at that <laughs> you could see it keeps sending hello world and it says my name with my dp and it keeps sending hello world like for every two seconds so this is actually your own custom bot that has your own name and it's completely moderated by you and you can actually change its dp or if you want to change its name and you can fully customize your own bot we can also set timers or if you want to set and call to action or if you want to send a message by just using a gesture or a hotkey everything can be done just like a normal nightboard or chatbot that you've been using cheers we did it yes i'm gonna make more videos on streamer bot and our next video is gonna be 
how to use voice control to make your chatbot do an action, send a message, play a music, open a media, and much more. You can control your own chatbot with your own voice control. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys on the next stream. Have a great day.